I also don't know if I could date someone who wasn't fanning out about this beef with me. That, and, the, and that's what it was. It was a real. That's what happened. It's, it's like it's just like such a big part of my interest, my mm -hmm. passion. Like, and if I couldn't speak to the person that I'm really involved with about this at mm -hmm. all, stay up all night re-listening to Family Matters. Like, yeah. that's just not. I just don't think we're compatible. I'm sorry, God, <laughs> but like I just I don't know. Oh, like, sorry, God. Also, <laughs> I I feel Ooh. like God also understands me because He's the one who put this passion in me for the for music. Sure. Right. So right. that's that's what I think about. And I get, and I get right. what you were saying. So yeah. as I'm thinking about this beef, this is crazy. I can't believe you told us that. <laughs> like, I, I, it was really conflicting for wow. me. Yeah. It, it was really conflicting for me. And yeah. but that just shows the impact that this moment had. <laughs> <laughs> no, and you so asked Pierre. I, yeah. I caught Pierre. Now you're right. Because you, you had right to get thing. some advice from somebody no, that's been there before, right? Yeah, because Pierre's a good person to talk about this with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he hated hip hop before. You heard him? <laughs> and, no, when he when Simon was telling me about it, I was like, damn, that's tough because I could kind of understand where she was coming from yeah, or for sure. kind of the environment that they were in yeah. and like how he felt about it. Like, yo, I love this. Like Reggie was saying, I love rap and obviously, you know, God is in my heart also, but like, would that deter you? Would my affinity for that deter you from liking me because I like? Yeah. It's, it's such a like juxtaposition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. gotta just love God and seek redemption. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys, did you guys, have, did you guys have to talk about this? Like, you're like, yo, I'm really interested in this beat. Like, did you talk about it or like? I I don't think we did. I, I know it came up at certain points, but I felt guilty even bringing it up. This is like Patreon wow. level content. It is. <laughs> I know. I can't believe I just did that. And it's oh, not well. to knock anybody. But no, it's not. It's I'm just not. thinking about how big of a moment this was in hip hop. That's for how me, important it was. To yeah. where like it was conflicting my personal life mm -hmm. as to. Okay, how do I live my day to day interacting with certain people who may not even be aligned with this? But it's it means like Reggie said, I'm such a fan of this culture. Yeah. I'm I'm so invested. I also get paid to do it. Like right. I'm I'm a part of this culture to the point <laughs> where is I can't not talk to you about you know yeah. so mm -hmm. and I yeah, was that, definitely I was definitely looking at people weird who didn't who just weren't as excited. Yeah. I, 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 was, only, I, I yeah. was only listening. I, I'm yeah. only looking at people a little strange if they claim. If they self-proclaim to be such a hip hop fan and mm -hmm. they didn't care, Got you. but all the other people who are casual fans, it's like mm -hmm. it's okay. You don't have to be as invested as us. But like, yeah, yeah. yeah some people who swear up and down that they love this shit and they did not say a fucking word about it, yeah. I definitely peeped. And like, I mm -hmm. and I'll also highlight, it does none of this shit matters in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, talk. That's what the other mean? thing that I realized too. Like as invested Finally, as welcome. I am, <laughs> as invested. <laughs> Remember, yeah, was here back in the day. Yeah, as invested as I am in this shit, like it, it, it doesn't matter, but it, 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 but it, it does. does. At the same time, it's such a weird yeah, way. position to kind of be in yeah. when something that's so minuscule in the grand scheme of life, right? Like whatever it is that you value in life, whether it be happiness through finances, whether it be happiness through experiences, whether it be happiness through disconnecting from the outer world, not even having social media. Like when you really think about it, you decide what matters and what doesn't. Yeah. And this is just one of the things that the culture decided that mattered. But then when you take a step back, it's like these two niggas don't, it, none of this really matters, but it was a moment. And I do want to highlight and shout out everybody who was invested in the moment. And um, I think it was a phenomenal time. Fantastic. Yeah, and I want to give a, a big kudos to Drake and Kendrick. Yeah. They showed up. The yeah. two of those brothers could have been passive aggressive over the next few mm -hmm. years. For sure. The two of those brothers could have just continued to dis, I mean, to trade some uh, subliminal shots. Mm -hmm. They really got to it. Yeah. You know, put their careers on the line. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I say careers on the line because we we seen how people reacted when J. Cole did, you know, bowed out gracefully, mm -hmm. etc. <laughs> Granted, J. Cole's career is far from being over. Mm -hmm. But just how you know, that could really either damn your career. Like, imagine if Rick Ross really got beat the fuck up in Vancouver <laughs> that day. They would have, like... Like, stomped out. Like, they, like, look, they look at you differently. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the gangster balls, the fly shit, they look at it yeah. differently, you know? So, yeah. I got to salute both of those brothers, real talk. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I also like the, like, I like that none of this really matters. I really find <laughs> a lot of comfort in that in life because it's like... We're, we've literally just spoke about for like an hour how passionate we are about this, but I really find it grounding when like this type of stuff that we talk about, all the gossip, all the celebrity stuff, it really does not matter. Mm -hmm. What matters is like our real life, like our families, us being healthy, that type of stuff. So that keeps me grounded. And then I feel like I have a great outlet with the need to know community to like talk about this type of stuff. Yeah. And so it's a really good balance. Like we're not, I guess I'm trying to say like, we're not like genuinely 
genuinely consumed with this to where I'll like lose my mind over this, you <laughs> no, know? But it's know. just it's just a healthy balance know. of like being very invested, but also keeping your real life. That's intact. a good point. Because yeah. again, we're not stands. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. Full circle, right? Like yeah. we're, we're fans not. of the music and the culture and whatever we need to critique or talk about, we will do that. For sure. And it's nice when you have the balance of the music, the real world, and a little bit of hot tour. Oh on my that gosh. shit. 